All right, let's discuss this further. And for that, we're joined by Uni Tritini, who is an author who's written a book called Betraying the Nobel, aiming to uncover the secrets and corruption behind the world's most prestigious prize. Welcome to the programme. Um, so tell us, what do you think is going on behind the scenes of the Nobel Peace Prize? Well, thank you so much for having me, first of all. And um, I, I believe, as I'm expressing also in my book, Betraying the Nobel, that um, the Nor Norwegian Nobel Committee is his has been mixing politics with their job as executors of Alfred Nobel's last will. So on the committee, which consists of uh, five members, there are it's 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 only uh, former politicians. And it's very difficult to to believe in its independence from the Norwegian government when uh, you have a committee that is filled with with politicians and there is no um, there is no will even to to um, select members on the committee who are not politicians. Mm -hmm. So okay. I think there's there's a lot of that going on. Okay, so you you, you question its independence. Um but okay, let's look at these uh, prizes that have gone to two journalists, Maria Ressa and uh, Dimitri, um, I forget his name right now, the, the Moscow journalist. Um, surely those yeah. are well deserved. Absolutely. And I was very positively surprised this morning when they announced the prize to Maria Ressa and Dimitri Mur Murato. Murato, the, yes. <laughs> yes the editor of the, the Novaya Gazeta in Russia. And this is a very interesting uh, prize. It's, it's, it was perhaps not a surprise, but it is a, a, it is a, ha it is a very welcoming prize. It is a shout out to democracy, to the freedom of expression and freedom of information. And um, I think we can all agree that in in this day and age, with so uh, much information, mm -hmm. fake news, and also players like Facebook, who is an important source of of news to a large part of the world. For example, in in the Philippines, where which is uh, Maria Ressa's home country, uh, most people will get their news through Facebook, and most people will will their their internet connection is really through Facebook. So, so it is important that we hold these players accountable and responsible. And I think in light of what we saw earlier this week with the whistleblower um, Francis Haugen. And what she okay. says about um, Facebook manipulating, you know, the news. Yeah, let me bring you back to uh, holding people to account because uh, previous people that have received uh, the Nobel Peace Prize are Abiy Ahmed of Ethiopia and mm -hmm. uh, on, on Sang Suu Kyi of uh, Myanmar. And they still hold on to it. They still hold on to it. And it is uh, astounding that they will not revoke certain prices. I believe that they it would be in their benefit to revoke certain prices, certainly these two, to um, restore the the lack of trust that we experience in institutions all over the world and including the Nobel Peace Prize. But and just very quickly, why don't they do this, Oni? Why don't they revoke those uh, Nobel Peace Prizes? They they really don't respond uh, to these questions. Uh, but the the only thing that they have said, and this is a few years back, is that they will not revoke because they believed at the time they gave the prices that these were worthy winners. Okay, so it's at and the time. And they won't go any further than that. I understand. Now, thank you for making that clear, and thank you so much for coming on the program. Really appreciate. Uh, the way you see the what's happening behind the scenes. Thank you. Uni Tritini.